we're actually over pleasurized. I don't know if that's a word or not, but yeah. you get the point, right? Because we have so much stuff that's like releases dopamine within us. Like you look at your phone, you see a notification, dopamine hit, you know, you, you know, whatever. There's, there's just so much around us is built on feeding us with Porn, this hit of shopping, dopamine. Everything. Everything, everything, the whole world basically. And the, the thing that I was watching the other day was saying that the reason that a lot of us lack focus in our lives now is because we're used to as a species focusing on something for a long period of time to get the dopamine hit so for example the fishing that you picked you you mentioned earlier right you sit there for three hours to get the dopamine hit of getting that one big fish yeah and that's why you focus on that thing for so long but when you're in a world where you're constantly hit with dopamine you no longer have to sit through the focus because it's just it you skip it you skip that part so when it comes to trying to focus on your work and you're trying to write a project for uni or you're trying to piece together some sort of presentation deck or finishing a painting. The reason you can't focus on it is because you're not willing to wait for the dopamine hit because you know you can get it elsewhere. You know that you can pick up your phone, go on TikTok, see a few notifications and go, hey, I feel good again. And that to me is flipping fascinating because I'd never seen it like that. Like I'd understood it, I guess, in a way. But when you actually understand it like that, it's like, geez, man, like, you know, these cavemen back in the days were, were out trying to gather meat for their families and their focus was on, that, was on that one task. And when they caught something, be it a fish, be it a, whatever they used to eat, a lion, I don't know, a zebra, whatever, they, that was their big dopamine hit and they could share that with their, with their people. But we don't have that feeling anymore because we can literally just do it whenever we want. It's mad. But it's so, it's so different. Like imagine if your life was on the line and and like you were going to die unless you got a like on instagram then that would be yeah. the most incredible like that you ever got yeah like like when the caveman got his got his meat and like the the dopamine that we're we're, we're kind of settling for this low level of like to just keep us going of drip, just drip feeding this stuff that's like that's not like the big one and for me i think that's where it comes into like doing something that's hard and it's really funny. It's like I post on my Instagram, I post up like time-lapse videos of my paintings and I, I I don't even do 30 seconds. I keep them to 15 seconds to because like that keeps people more engaged than 30 seconds. So literally in, 30, in 15 seconds, you're going to see what I've spent seven or eight hours on. And like, that's wild. People don't, people don't see the seven or eight hours that goes into one of my paintings and they're not prepared to put seven or eight hours into producing something for themselves but when i do the rewards are great and like when you look at someone like goggins or someone like that it's like or or people who are like really into endurance races or people that that find great um fulfillment through meditation it's those are the people who are able to push through the barriers of when something becomes really hard because they know that the rewards on the other side of that are so much greater than the, than just the the shitty rewards of like let's just keep going with these like these throwaway like junk food basically like just these things that they don't really satiate us but they just keep us going it's like oh, i just have a fucking burger and it's like keeps you on that on that level yeah and it's like you mentioned there about you know you're not gonna die you know if if you were gonna die unless you got a like on instagram but i think that's what our mind thinks it's like yeah we, we are in trouble if we don't get that like because of the dopamine hit that we get with it and it's like and that's why a lot of because we've got go the through, caveman brain that doesn't yeah, understand exactly like a lot of us go through lives not feeling validated or, or worth or, or have any self-worth because we're seeking it from something external rather than it's like actually focus that within yourself it's